if you are a longtime viewer of my channel, you will know that I've already read this book. I've already done a book review, and this is a first ever second book review of the same book that I've already read. I have not went back and rewatched the video. I said I was going to. I, I started to, and I stopped. Because I was like, you know what? I don't want to hear myself speak on the same issue. Just make notes as if it was a new experience this time going forward. And that's exactly what I did. There were so many moments in this book by Sarah Richardson, Hometown Cowboy, that I wanted to share, that I did share during the first book review. I know I did. But what I always enjoy in every book, no matter what the problem, no matter what the situation, even the misunderstanding, that most they for the most part they work out their issues or whatever they that they face now there was some angry hurtful words spoken by lance while uh jessa is being helpful or so she thinks uh to luez who is uh lance's fa uh, father but lance doesn't see it that way he sees it as a betrayal of trust she took his uh father to see a doctor without his knowledge and a diagnosis comes in about Lance's dad that he has Park Parkinson's disease. And uh, Lance has got this protective uh, thing where he wants to protect what's his, basically. And this knowledge is like power, of course. And he feels like Jessa has got the power and he has no power. And it was his place to be with her, his dad, not hers. Because, uh, well, the hurtful phrase that he says, go home, you're not a part of the family which, of course, that inserts a big, uh-oh, he shouldn't have said that. Uh, what I enjoyed experiencing throughout this process was the feelings where Lance talks with his brothers and his dad about Jessa comes up with a plan to win her back, which I was like going, okay, we all know that that normally never happens in real life, that when this kind of dis misunderstanding or disagreement comes into play, what happens? I'll tell you what happens. Usually no one wins. Stubborn, foolish pride does, meaning that one person thinks they're right, the other one person thinks they're right. There is no in-between, and uh, there's just no way to come up with a win. Um, she is very, uh, sh she uh, loves animals, and ha she has a little pot belly pig in tow. She talks with her friends. Excuse me one second. I've got a cat to rescue. Come on. Come here, Sonic. Let's go talk to the people. Okay, this is why we're only doing two videos, because the boys are rambunctious tonight. Uh, and then it goes to her mom's. Lance, he does something that is unheard of, okay? He shows up at her mother's with a wilted bouquet. He apologizes, and I won't share the rest with you. You must read Hometown Cowboy by Sarah Richardson, and I'm giving it an outstanding rating of 110. I don't know what I gave it before, but I'm sure if you go back and find the same book review, I'm sure that's exactly what I gave it, or probably more than that even. But she's one of my favorite authors. It's it's very realistic, and the, the uh, feelings are so deep, and they're so realistic, and it makes you feel like you are in that book, and you want to say, just wake up, why don't you? She's the one for you, and you want to tell her, what in the heck is wrong with you? He's the one for you. And you just want to be the Dr. Phil to both of them, basically. But it, all in all, it's a great book. Hometown Cowboy, Sarah Richardson, check it out. Okay? Thank you. <laughs>